Uh, what's your assessment? Because it's one of the issues that the governors of the southern region raised today as to the operation of security agencies. And they are demanding that if there will be any operation of the security agencies, the security chief security officer of the state, the governors, should be informed with what happened in the battle, the raid on Sunday Bo's house, and the rally we saw in Lagos. What is your assessment and what's your take? Well, I, I think it's, um, it is a decision that is coming rather late. Uh, governors are chief security officers of their state in line with the provisions of the Constitution. Uh, and in the case of AG Anambra State, Attorney General of Anambra State, and Attorney General of the Federation, uh, uh, when Governor Ngige of the then Anambra State was kidnapped, you know, uh, with the connivance of uh, a chief uh, police officer, uh, the state governor went to court, and the Supreme Court made the point that commissioners of police in each state are under the control of the governor, and they must take directives from the governor. In the case of Inspector General of Police and ANPP, this, the court of appeal made the point that when it comes to public meetings in every state, rallies in every state, demonstrations. The governor has the last say that as a matter of fact, the name of the IG, Inspector General of Police, is not mentioned in the Public Order Act. But what has happened over the years, even when a governor, the party of a governor of a state, wants to hold a rally, you get a, a, a directive from the uh, uh, Inspector General of Police in Abuja that that cannot meet. So I think our governors are beginning to appreciate that they are the chief security officers in the state. By the way, Shim, every state government in Nigeria has a security council. The governor is the chair. The commissioner of police is a member. The director of state security service is a member. All the military commanders in that state are members. What is more? We have the Nigerian Police Council, headed by the president. The president is only the chairman. The 36 state governors are members, of course, the Inspector General of Police and the Chairman Police Service Commission. That body, that 39 member body, where you have 36 governors, is empowered by the Constitution to administer, organize, and supervise the Nigerian Police Force. So, governors are right perfectly in order in giving this directive. And you can have a situation where noxional, noxional arrests are made in a state without, as if you are, as if you are planning a coup. Take it, but for instance, the invasion of the home of Igbo happened in the night. And for a whole day, everybody was wondering, who, who did it? And that seven people were killed. People were arrested and abducted at 2 a.m. The governor of the state wasn't aware. So everybody was trying to find out, calling security agencies, who's done it? Only for the state security service to issue a very provocative st statement. After almost 12 hours to say we did it, we killed two people. We rendered the house. Oh, somebody attempted to resist arrest. And you killed two people? Now, the governor of the state wasn't aware. And I see what is being said. In 2016, uh, uh, governors, I mean, uh, judges were arrested in the dead of the night. And they came out on that occasion to warn, to warn that having regards to what had happened in Ghana, I think in 1981 or thereabout, where four judges were abducted in the dead of the night and killed, that we must stop this. In my own personal case, I was once arrested in the dead of the night in Lagos. Dr. Beckham and some people was arrested in the, dead, the same night. I was dumped on Badagri, uh, no, Apple Road, while Dr. Beckham was dumped somewhere uh, 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 on Badagri Road. Now, that was then. In these days of kidnapping, anybody can come to your house in the night, 
and unless you and these are guys who don't wear uniforms. But you Mr. Falano, yeah, Mr. Falano, does yes. what you're saying does it apply to the DSS? Because uh, the Department of State Services, um, in some other crimes, I mean, they, they're they're perhaps a known renowned for uh, some operations that are not very clear to the eye in terms of being open like the uh, your uh, police officers in uniform. Does this case apply to them that they need to make some of no. the operations public? No, there is no law in Nigeria that allows you to arrest anybody in the dead of the night. I mean, you are not planning a coup. We are not an robbers. I mean, and I do say this when the judges were arrested. If you are going to arrest a judge, as they did in 2016, what stops you from staying around the premises? All you want to sh be sure, oh, the man is not going to escape. You stay around the premises. If he's going to drive out, you just simply accost him. Your lordship, your attention is needed. We must be civilized. These are very dangerous legacies of military dictatorship in our country. There is no provision unless a crime is being committed in the night. You cannot go there and arrest. In this case, you are required by law. To have a warrant of arrest, a, a search warrant. Mr. Falano, let's assume the let's assume that the DSS had a warrant of arrest. Could they have gone to that to, to Igbo's house without a warrant of arrest? Of course, that's what they did. There was no such warrant. They searched. Nobody took an inventory. Now, the, uh, Ms. Uh, Chief Igbo and my son, the other man, said no. I didn't have any gun in my house. Yet the SSS is parading guns and other ammunition. So all the controversy will have been unnecessary if we had behaved, if the SSS had behaved like a modern civilized agency. There right. will be no dispute or all controversy. Right.